Uh, first of all, hello and good morning to you guys. I'm also a bit sleepy yet, but um, it will go away. So, uh, as you know, today's topic is not so positive and probably um, it's going to be a bit hard to talk about this, but um, we will try to uh, stay objective and um, share everything that we know about the situation in our countries. We initially decided to share uh, some statistics and uh, the general situation in, uh, in our countries, in, uh, in Armenia, Azerbaijan and Georgia. And um, uh, in the meanwhile, as, I'm, as we're talking, uh, maybe you can also join and you can also share some stuff about your countries, whatever you know. It doesn't need to be some um, strict numbers or um, like this. But uh, basically, the, the information that you have connected with gender-based violence in your countries. Uh, before we can uh, start, I just wanted to um give the points uh of what gender-based violence is and what kind of forms it has uh because generally uh, we saying violence we sometimes understand physical violence and we mainly think of men's violence towards women because of um, the stereotypical way of thinking that we have in many countries but in some cases it's it's not so so uh, I just wanted to um, enumerate uh, the cases when violence is considered, it's considered to be gender-based violence. So uh, the first one is child marriage, female genital mutilation, honor killings, trafficking for sex or slavery, intimate partner violence, physical punishment, and uh, sexual, emotional, psychological violence. It's also considered to be um, violence yet, if it's not physical. Uh, so this is the information that I wanted to give. Um, I will also share uh, some information about my country, but um, I would like to start with the information about um, our area that we prepared. Um, if possible, I would ask Chichek to start with what she has, whether it's a, a, a report about Azerbaijan or some statistics that she can, um, that she can provide and later we will like, go around. Okay, can everyone hear me? Uh, I want to share screen because I have prepared a um, PowerPoint, but I can't share screen. Share screen. You can't? No. And now I changed something? Yeah, yeah. Now I can. Now it can. You can, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, can everyone see it? Yes. Uh, I used my picture for um, that I took for my blog. So uh, first, I would say that it's uh, impossible to find any statistics about Azerbaijan because uh, no one just care about it and there is no any statistics about uh, violence in Azerbaijan. So I just uh, shared what I know about this situation. Uh, so I want to, first I want to say that in Azerbaijan, um, the most common type of violence is uh, domestic violence because uh, most of women um, suffer from domestic violence by their husbands, by their parents, uh, just because of uh, weird reasons like um, their styling, their um, uh, opinions and uh, stuff like this. So um, yeah, I have, uh, I have, um, I have written about it a little bit. Um, I hope uh, everyone can see it. Uh, the next one is financial violence. Uh, it is a common type of violence in Azerbaijan too, because many men in Azerbaijan don't want their wife to work uh, or their daughter. 
So these women uh, depend on their husband. Uh, and even if they want to break up, they want to live um, alone, uh, it is uh, kind of impossible because they don't have any financial support to live or uh, to take care of their children, even if even they have. Um, other one is psychological violence. Um, in our society, there is a good woman stereotype, as I wrote on my um, PowerPoint. Uh, because uh, if you wear something you want, if you go somewhere you want, uh, everyone will judge you because of these things. Um, and uh, as I uh, wrote, uh, the most common uh, thing that we uh, get judged by people is about virginity because in Azerbaijan people just uh, care about it a lot and uh, it can be uh, the reason for uh, for getting killed by your family or by your husband. Uh, uh, can you repeat please? What is the reason? Uh, I mean losing virginity is uh, uh, a reason virginity. get yeah mm -hmm. okay, is okay. Uh, and actually this situation is uh, horrible than people can imagine because um yeah most time uh, just parents or husband uh, can kill you because of this reason uh because uh, they mm, like consider you useless and uh, they uh, feel ashamed because of you in this situation and uh, uh i have uh, i have um written about some uh, something that in Azerbaijan, if you get raped, your parents want you to marry your rapist. And even if it, um, the pol um, I mean, if you go to report it, uh, they also uh, want your rapist to marry you. So that's a so weird situation. Uh, and I want to talk uh, a little bit about sexual abuse. Uh, in Azerbaijan, uh, that's a uh, common situation. situation. Uh, as I said, um, if you wear something you want, if you go out at late hours, people, uh, I mean, men can rape you or can, um, like, uh, they can abuse you using some words. But in this situation, everyone will just blame you. Why? Why did you uh, did you go there? Why uh, did you wear it? Uh, no one um, will blame that man. Or if you report uh, something about it, no one just will care. Uh, I have uh, experienced some situation that on the uh, streets, even the police uh, police can uh, uh, I mean can uh, can bother you with uh, sexual abuse. Uh, that was what I experienced and my friends experienced. Once I just asked that you have to uh, protect our rights, but you just, uh, pre in, I mean, ruin our um, rights. So mm, yeah, uh, here just, there is no one to support uh, women rights and uh, just no one cares about it. So I think that's all what I want to say. Thank you, Cicek. Um, it was really terrible parts to listen to it, uh, especially it's hard to imagine how can um, a person be uh, forced to marry her rapist. It really sounds wild, but I understand that in some cultures it has become so normalized that people do not blame it or do not pay special attention to it. Uh, thank you. And um, I also wanted to say uh, that we have this, the same thing connected with fi financial violence because, the, um, however, in uh, the um, heart of our country in Yerevan, the situation is much better. Um, many women are uh, women are emancipated. They can work. They can uh, live uh, more freely. But in other cities, it, the situation is harder, and they also 
and don't have a chance to work and in many cases they just stick to their pair uh, to their husbands uh, because of this because of financial violence and they don't have any other choice um, rather than just staying uh, there and the same with virginity uh, actually i had prepared one movie that i had told you about um, it is connected with the problem of virginity and how strictly it is um, understood in our societies, in our cultures, but I guess it will be too long to watch today. It's like 15 minutes. So maybe later we can come to that and discuss this issue together. Thanks for sharing. And um, later on, we'll continue the discussion with uh, the rest of the questions. Now, if we can get Nana. Nana, Hello. can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm here. Uh -huh. Okay, do you think it's possible for you now to speak or it's not comfortable? What do you think? Well, I don't have a PowerPoint presentation right now with me. Mm -hmm. So I have to present my data online. So okay. what I have conducted, I have conducted research about domestic violence in Georgia. And I have covered a lot of uh, topics. They say it, uh, it is actually very similar with the virginity or the uh, economical abuse or uh, physical abuse. Like in the villages, in the small villages, girls are forced to marry very young. They are forced to lose their studies because their husband may not like it. Um, but uh, one thing that I wanted to very emphasize on is the uh, uh, violence within the system. Because sometimes these women try to get help, they try to call for the help, uh, call for the police, but uh, the police uh, always discourage women not to file reports, and uh, uh, many women decide not to uh, because they are threatened by the police, they are abused by the police, and so they have no other choice but to stay with the with their hus abusive husbands. Also, there is one very bad thing in Georgia law. Uh, like uh, if the woman doesn't say that her husband has physically abused her, even if they were bruised on her face, the police just won't press any charges. So women uh, either have to have very, uh, very, uh, they have to be very prepared psychologically for the battle, or they have to have a very good lawyer in order to continue fight against domestic violence. Uh, however, a lot of women don't know where to seek help. So this is why nowadays Georgia women try to gather around their own social media and share this information. However, in the small villages there is no internet, so the situation is very bad with us. So overall, this is what I wanted to share. This is what I thought was the most important thing right now in, in my country. Like even if you can decide to speak up, they are always discouraged to stay quiet and Sometimes it is very hard to uh, psychologically endure all the abuse, especially when the police are supposed to help you, but they are the abusers. Okay, well, thank you so much, um, Nana, for sharing. Um, and I guess um, it is my turn to share some information that I have gathered and the conclusion that I came to. Okay. Nana, maybe you can uh, try to mute because it's a bit noisy in there. It's fine. Thank you. Uh -huh. So um, I was about to uh, to share also some information that I gathered. I don't want to go strictly to the numbers and the statistics because. Here as well, the statistics is a bit um, tricky, not in terms that they do not show um, it's the way it is, but, but because many women do not report um, the cases of violence that they face, mostly psychological violence, whether it's financial violence, and when it comes to sexual abuse and physical violence, domestic uh, they, it is just not considered as good in the society to, um, to report uh, it to police because later on they are usually blamed for betraying their husband, let us say, uh, and acting so bad towards him. 
like taking the problem out of their house, let us say so. And in cases of sexual abuse, uh, they uh, reporting to the police, they speak up about it and they have to live with that label on their head of having been um, a victim of uh, sexual abuse. So what I wanted to share is uh, one situation that we had uh, a year ago, almost a year ago, there was a case of uh, rape in our country, but not towards an Armenian citizen. It was a girl from Czech Republic uh, who was volunteering here and uh, she was in a very a rural area um, and uh, she happened to be alone in some place. And later on, she faced a really uh, bad situation by being... Uh, uh, forced um, to um, not sex exactly, but uh, she became um, a victim of sexual abuse. And um, what the, the bad thing is that after this case, of course, it was blamed, it was talked about, it was spoken up, and uh, the, uh, the person who was uh, who carried this action was brought to the police. But the thing is that uh, the society started a conversation, a discussion about this topic. Um, and the highlight of this conversation was the hair of this girl. She had really beautiful um, beaded uh, long um, hair, which, w which looked a bit strange in our rural areas, I can say. And the discussion started that her hair was and uh, it was to blame, let us say, because it was different, she was different, she was not from here, she was probably asking for it, uh, and uh, she is not from Armenia, so she probably is a bad, bad girl, you know how the conversation goes. Um, and uh, uh, of course, in the normal, adequate part of society, it was blamed, uh, but in many areas, the um, blaming of the victim is really a big problem. Uh, the victims uh, become uh, like turn into a, a worse situation because whenever something bad happens to them, they are blamed themselves. Um, maybe because they were wearing a short skirt, maybe because they were alone in a late hour somewhere, they were with a man. Uh, who is a bit older than them and uh, anything else, you know, how easy it is to uh, spread this hate towards women and to find a reason to blame the victim. And it goes for both sides, actually. Um, I have to be fair um, uh, here. Uh, if there was something connected with men, if uh, um, uh, the wife abused the man, uh, I'm sure there would start the same conversation, like, he must have done something really bad and deserved it. So it's for both sides. But in general, the, we, we can see this problem that women who become a victim of something uh, are blamed later on by the society really badly. Um, and after this case that I told you about, there started a big action like Me Too in our country, but it was named uh, the Voices of Violence. Uh, one activist in Armenia, a woman who speaks up about women's rights, she started a movement of uh, this uh, hashtag stories. She started sharing anonymous stories by women who have become um, victims of abuse. So people started not to believe to these stories, saying that she was just making them up. She was just trying to ruin the name of our good nation and uh, everything like this. But so they did not believe that these stories actually are possible and they happen next to us. Uh, but as they say, you do not believe until you see one um, around you. So I have to say that maybe it is not um, as hugely reported to the police, but the cases do happen. Uh, and uh, when they are reported, uh, they get into uh, statistics. And I have to say that um, I checked the statistics for the, this year. And um, according, like, as in the whole world, I guess, sadly, uh, here also the cases of violence were uh, gr uh, grew. Uh, connected with um, the pandemic and connected with the lockdown. 
we also had 40% uh, of growth in the numbers of domestic violence. Uh, it, it was a bit um, mixed up, whatever I said, but I wanted to open up a conversation, a discussion connected with people who are, uh, who are fighting against this, against the situation with violence in your countries. And I want to know what is the public opinion towards these activists? Because sometimes um, society can be strict and rude to them as well, like in the story that I told. So Chichak, maybe you have something about this? What can you say? Yeah. Uh, actually, in my country, there is no uh, any famous organization that uh, tried to protect uh, um, women rights. They will, uh, there was a girl uh, that uh, create a Facebook page, Instagram page, but everyone starts judging her and she just left and uh, uh, moved to America uh, and she just uh, tried to save herself because um, no one just cares um, about what she uh, what she was saying uh, about women rights. Uh, the interesting part is that here a uh, woman just accepted. So um, also women uh, was judging her, and women also accept the situation that men have to be powerful. So um, here uh, I think there is nothing to do, and it's. Um, impossible uh, for, a, uh, for a person to change their mind because um, I mean it can't be a, a, a massive change you can't change many, many things uh, just alone and there is no an organization for this mm, really okay so there are no such organizations working in Azerbaijan for uh, like for, for protecting women's rights or they are just not famous or not popular hey. Hey. did you ask me anything Lost sorry to... okay no no um it was uh we we're talking to chichek but she got frozen okay uh, so um, I want to ask also, let us say to our audience, uh, maybe you want to share something connected with this. I really, I was really curious to know what's the situation with it, with this in Poland. Uh, what is the public mood, public opinion? Mm -hmm. um, I just see if Chitak, Chitak is uh, out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, first of all, thanks. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, I feel now a bit uh, ignorant because, uh, for example, I didn't know what uh, this, um, that it happens in Azerbaijan uh, that women can be that it's accepted to be that women are killed, being killed by family. I really didn't know. I I didn't know that this, uh, it happens also in in Azerbaijan. Um, I mean, I would have some questions to what you what you've said, um, but uh, but before, I guess it's difficult to compare. Uh, we there is many uh, women associations and women organizations to to protect women's rights in Poland, and it's not the same issues that we are fighting for. Uh, it's. I mean, I, I can't imagine the situation uh, uh, with the with the rape and no help from police. And I, I've never heard about stories like that. It's simply not accepted by anyone. And the ra the the raper goes to the prison, to the jail. Uh, I don't think I've never heard that women are afraid to go to police to announce that they are they were. Well, maybe they will feel ashamed, but it's not uh, that, that that it happens to them. Uh, but it's not that they will not get help uh, from their family, or that their family will would blame them of uh, of I don't know wearing too, too short skirt or dress or be having this kind of hair. It's something that when I hear it, I I, I or when I when I even now talk about it, I I think it's um, it's, it's you know it's absurd for me. I. I I, I I don't know if I would be uh, 
I don't know if I would be able to um, to live. Monica, you more. I don't know if I would be able to live in this kind of uh, in this kind of society. It's too abstract for me. So there is a, there are some issues related to women, and it's not perfect in Poland, but it's a different level of uh, of difficulties. Uh, now, right now, there were a lot of protests and strikes because uh, we have now the right um, right um, gov right side government, kind of extreme, but still not extreme as uh, um, it's, it's yeah like comparing to to um, to the others. Still, <laughs> for us, it's really extreme, and they want to change the the regulations about abortion. Uh, I would just. At Monica, she wants to join. Uh, so she, uh, so they want to um, change regulations regarding abortion. Right now, it's uh, uh, there was this compromise uh, done like 20 years ago in 1993 that it's uh, legal to do it in certain cases. For example, when the woman was raped, uh, when it's uh, when the when the, the giving birth is dangerous for women for women. Uh, and so when it's uh, it's known that the child uh, can be born uh, with a with a big like strong disabilities, okay. And that was the the compromise. It was uh, it's not legal. It was never legal to do it uh, to do it as as you can do it uh, in in I guess Czech Republic that you just uh, go to the doctor and and say. So uh, actually, that was something that women were fighting uh, for. Uh, to to have the right to do, to do it in this way as well, uh, but instead of going farther, I will just invite Monica. Okay, instead of going farther, because it's uh, it doesn't mean having this right to to do it doesn't mean that women will do it, will use this chance, but they will have anyway. It happens. That's the that's the that's the thing. That anyway, um, women get pregnant. They don't want they don't want to be pregnant, and they were they they do abortion, but either they pay for it uh, and they do it illegally or they go abroad so the situation will not change if it's uh, if it's um, if it's uh, written in the like if they have rights to do it they anyway it happens but instead of go doing it changing the law to the to the adapting it to the situation what uh, what happens they do a step backward so they want to forbid women to to have abortion in case the child is ill or is going to be born dead or or with strong disabilities, and uh, it happened. I don't know. Maybe you've heard about it. It happened uh, last month, around last last, uh, last month, that they announced it. Um, the the new regulation, and it was a huge, uh, like a bomb, you know, in the in the country. And although there was a pandemic, and it was forbidden to go out go go out on the street and be in a bigger group. There were thousands of people, not only not only women, but thousands of uh, of people uh, protesting against this. And uh, and then it went farther. So it was not only about the, uh, the abortion, but it went uh, like it it was about the government and uh, and general the uh, what they do in our country. But there is nothing like a social permission to um, for rape for the rape. Uh, for this kind of situations that you were mentioning, mm, uh, domestic violence, of course, uh, of course, it's present. Uh, but women do have help. There are some um, some institutions where they can uh, where they can call for help, ask for help. There are houses for single women or women who, who want to escape. It's okay. It's not perfect. I'm not saying that um, that it's. Um, that this is the perfect uh, perfect situation, but it's not accepted. Still, women will get a, a help from police and from the from the society. the The, the thing is that um, sometimes women they don't ask for this help, and this is what we are um, what people are or the, we we generally try to fight against or change because they feel. Uh, they kind of uh, they don't judge their uh, husband, uh, or they say, they, you know, they find they always not they they sometimes try to find excuses for them. So it's better for them to stay married 
not to have trouble, not to be, because for, for example, they are financially dependent and they accept this violence, which is uh, the worst situation. But, uh, but if it's, so this is what, we, what, we, what is happening to, to what we have to fight against. So that, that women are not ignorant and, uh, and they say they are loud, they say loud what's happening, but uh, when they do it, they will get help, they will get help definitely and, uh, and it will never be socially accepted to, to be beaten by the by husband or to be, the, the situation with, with the rape is, uh, it's, I don't even, like it's difficult to comment for me. If it comes to the financial violence that you were um, mentioning, um, I don't know the statistics, but uh, but there is a there is um, there is a small percentage of women in the society who don't work. But I guess it has also the the um, its reasons in the past. In the socialism, um, there was this before women they, they didn't work, so the so the, the um, previous role of the women, women in the society was to take care of the house and children and so on. But, uh, but it was not enough. Um, and uh, I guess the socialism time and this picture of, uh, of, of women who has to stay strong and who has to, uh, who has to give input to build the society, meaning working, change the, 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 like the picture of, um, of women in the society. Uh, and in that time, it was actually a big change because, for example, mm, women were uh, what for me it's un uh, it's unacceptable. After giving birth, they could stay home only for three months with a baby, and then babies were got sent to the mm, not the kindergarten, by I don't know how it's called nursery, so for babies, and they were they had to work, they had to work. It was um, it was obligatory for them. And now they changed that. Now it's not like that. It's uh, like one hour, one year uh, break after giving birth. But still, it's uh, this um, this thing that uh, women work, and it's absolutely normal. And that they want they want to work, and they do it. Uh, it's uh, it's not uh, it's not like in in Azerbaijan, for example. Uh, the, the, the the what again? It's still not perfect because it happens, but it it got better. Uh, but some years ago, there was a big discussion because the, the salaries were different for women and for men. Okay, that was this uh, inequality in, in, in salaries. Uh, but now it's, for example, when you, it's, it's forbidden. It's uh, in the law of the work, uh, work law, it's forbidden to depend the, the, um, the, the amount of salary regard the, regarding the, the sex of the person. So it's uh, it all all goes better, you know. Those are when I talk about it. For me, those are big issues like the the inequality in salary. But uh, but comparing to to not having right or not being able to work mm -hmm. in general, it sounds you know like a small thing. Um, so it's uh, it's it's for us. It's not perfect, and there is still much to do. But uh, but it's different. Uh, it's different here, and it's um, it seems like we fight for details comparing to to how it looks like in in your country. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but if um, if I should um, put few issues that are related to women in in Poland that are discussed or that are the topic of of uh, of the in the, the discourse like political and social discourse is abortion. Uh, Yes, and that's all. Abortion is now the, the, the main topic. And, um, I will just re the, recall one thing. A few years ago, there was this, um, I remember like 10 years ago, uh, there was a lot big inequality if it comes to politicians, uh, women politicians and men politicians. Mm, politicians. And now, it's, um, now they said there was this idea to make it half-half, uh, like to um, to force it to be like uh, to, that it has to be must be like that so there is a half half but there was not that much interest in women being a politician so it's um, yeah it's not equal uh, it's not equal but um, but they have right to be in politics and they have uh, there is a like of course those um, those feminists who are in the 
uh, in the parliament they are they are women they are feminists are mostly women <laughs> yes um, for me to put, put the quotes it's always stupid uh, for yeah. me at least like uh, um, but there was this attempt to do it but uh, but there was not um, you know, being a politician, it's not easy, uh, and uh, it requires a lot of. Um, I'm not saying that women are not able to do easy, jo uh, uh, difficult jobs, not at all. But uh, uh, but um, uh, it's difficult to combine it with different parts of life. That's the that's the thing, and still, this is all. Um, Still, women who take care of uh, of children mostly, and so on and so far. But it's not only the re this reason. But I have to say that we also have some politicians in our uh, in our parliament who are absolutely saying things against women and um, and like against women, against abortion. I mean, and uh, against the, the, the like the mainstream of of what what women say that they need to be like what needs uh, should be done and. Uh, what should be changed? They are saying uh, opposite. So it's not um, it's not um, hundred percent sure that if there is a woman in parliament, it it means a good change or it means a change in a direction that most of women want. So um, yes, um, I will maybe Andra if you want uh, or Irene, and uh, and then I would like to ask some questions, but uh, to to you girls, but I can wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. For, for me, it's, it seems very funny that you, you could stay only three months with the, with the baby. It was like in... this, 30 years ago. The same was in the, in the East Germany. I, yeah. I checked and in Czech it was one, one year still. Mm -mm, they it, was, uh, it was back here in three months. Now they changed it to one year. No, well, now, some, already some years ago. Wow. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I agree with Anya. I think this situation is is very similar in Czech Republic, and uh, yeah, the 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 basic issue with the gender violence is that the women uh, yeah are are scared to um, say something against their husband just because it's their husband and. They, they would let him down, but if they do, they are uh, guaranteed to get help from the from the associations. They have some place to go just away from the from the husband, and they will be protected. Yeah, it's it's they right, and there there are um, some associations. I I found. Probably the most important is Amnesty International, which works here. And yeah, I I think they they are also trying to do. They try to do some quotes for the women, or also for for the companies to to make. A job for women, but it was again pu putting some quotes on, like how, how the the percentage should be divided in the company of women and and men. I think they did something like this, and there are some. I, I would say there are many women in in politics. It's it's common in the in Czech Republic. Uh, yeah, and I I had one f one friend. Uh, I have one friend uh, from high school who who was sexually abused. Uh, I think yeah, it, on the street just at night, and it, it was it was very difficult for her to go with it. Uh, but yeah, you you just go go to the police and. Then the then the rapist will sit long in the jail if they found him. Yeah, I. That's yeah for me, <laughs> unimaginable that you you had to marry a rapist. Wow. Mm. Very 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 bad. 
Um, yeah, I think um, it's not perfect as well, um, but yeah, we, the the norm of society is to to protect women, and yeah, even I I think in the the politicians um, usually don't say something against women. It's more there are more issues in politics. I think like. The, the the politicians say wrong things about Holocaust or th things like that, but I, I haven't noticed about women. In mm -hmm. yeah. okay, I, think. Mm -hmm. I guess it's kind of similar for mm -hmm. politicians and Czech situation. So the worst what. Uh, well, I also find it uh, uh, bad, but some some jokes uh, done by politics or in in the society generally, some sexism, uh, sexist, I don't know, sexistic uh, jokes. Uh, uh, but um, but they are not accepted. They will be discussed when politicians say it. And in the society, this is what we have to learn to to react to it and and to say stop. Mm, it was uh, like when Carola was presenting us the, the uh, pyramid of violence, this, uh, this question of if, is the joke already the, the violence, can you consider it as a violence? So um, that's why I recalled it. But, and it happens, it happens very often. Um, but I guess less and less. Hmm. Irena, are you, are you there? So that you. I'm sorry for a moment. Oh. Irena, I guess Irena is not there. Okay. okay, as Nanuka is here, maybe she can uh, manage to say uh, something about this case until her phone dies. Oh, well, uh, so very quickly, I can tell you that we have a very good organization that are fighting for the women's rights right now. But uh, the problem is that the, uh, the public is very negative because they think they're just making up some problems because they just don't see the stories happening, like you said, <laughs> uh, until you don't really want to see them. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, now, but uh, now things are changing again because of social media because you have that women's group. There are a hundred thousand women there, and even the women who think that the stories don't believe are forced to challenge. Uh, with their view, and um, those groups that women now have know that if they ask for the help, there come some lawyers, some NGOs who will be uh, able to uh, help them. But if you don't have that social media and you don't know those groups, then you very likely don't know about them, and you very likely women don't have any access to the uh, to these uh, houses. So the problem is very bad publicity and very negative opinion on the uh, on the male on the male public members. But again, things are changing very very good and very smoothly. So yeah, that's all I can say very very shortly here. Thank you, Nana. It's uh, really good to hear that. Um, in our area, in our territory, there there are some changes to the to the good, to the positive, and there are some organizations that are doing um, important work connected with this. And I also wanted to say that here, apart from the organizations like Coalition Against Violence Against Women, hey, Anna, could you could you mute? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I can. Ah, uh, thank hear. you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Apart from that, we also have some Facebook group, uh, which is uh, called like Women's Corner. Uh, it it uh, involves almost 100,000 women from all possible places and of all possible uh, characters and everything. And although there is also some... Um, verbal abuse from time to time like blaming the victim and blah 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 but whenever someone anonymously reports a, a case like this whenever someone says like i have a really bad husband i want to escape women really um, cooperate they are 
like there is a mood of solidarity and they're trying to do their best to help like they provide shelter to this woman with her child maybe until she can find the job until she can uh, understand decide what to do so in terms of this if you have access uh, and yeah mostly everyone has access to internet here the, there's no problem with that you can uh, find someone to help you and uh, you can find a way to escape if you're living with um, such a person. Uh, but thank you all for sharing this. Um, I, as I told you beforehand about it, I had, pre I had prepared one video, but uh, Anya, probably you can say, do you think um, it is worth watching it now? Uh, and discussing it, it involves, um, it was shot by a Georgian director and um, and written by an Armenian, uh, um, the scenario, scenario was written by an Armenian person. Uh, so it's kind of, it shows the situation in our countries connected with violence against women. Um, do you think it's possible to watch it now? Or? You said it's uh, 15 minutes, right? Yeah. I would say yes. What do you think, guys? Okay. Yes. I, uh, can you share it here? Um, no. Yeah, I will send the link. Maybe you can. Uh, it is yeah. coming. But uh, maybe we can try. Uh, um, if you can. I guess it will be better if you share it and we watch it from your screen, mm -hmm. so to say. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to say maybe. Um, maybe you can share the screen now. I will. Send it to me because I'm from uh, I'm using my phone. So, aha, uh -huh. uh -huh, okay. So you will send the link here in the chat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. So I will share this. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Okay. Um, no, it's not fun. Okay. Um, sorry, I got lost. I got lost here. <laughs> Too many pages open. Yeah, because I don't know where is the chat now, how to find the chat and the link again. <laughs> Should I send it again? Uh, I can't see the, the um, chat. Andre, do you see it? Can, maybe, maybe you can show yeah. it. Yeah? Instead yeah, I, I can try. I don't, we'll see how the connection is going, but for, uh -huh. for now it's good. It's, I can. Okay. Uh, you see it I now? stop sharing. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yes. Right? yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah, but uh, I I will probably. Do, will you hear the sound now? We'll see. No. Should Do we hear it or no. I? No. Uh, oh, I, I, I will just open with, with Chrome, I think it, it will be possible to let this work, right? Okay. By the way, as you're opening, I uh, can say something about this, uh, the name, the title of the movie, it's called Red Apples. I mentioned it before, uh, we had and still have one tradition. After marriage, uh, after the wedding day, uh, the next day, um, parents of uh, the, the women of the husband's side buy red, apple, uh, red apples and bring it to the wife's house, to this girl's house, uh, as a proof that their child, their daughter was a virgin. And um, yeah, this tradition is called like this, red apples. Um, it used to be even wilder, but now 
um, people, some people choose not to celebrate it and skip this part. Mm -hmm. So that is the name of the movie. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's prepared. Uh -huh, I also okay. prepared it. <laughs> so, but I guess now I will be first. Or you do it, Andra. Do it. <laughs> so I stop sharing. So I... It's going, no? Yes. Mom, <laughs> Es ist nicht Can I 
Uzmayı kahamar avvali sirim var hak ne? Vakit çamfruk nereye morat hang? O çünkü. Ne kadar ne lan kıçın? Bari Luis. Bari Luis, bunu. Stavit ses ama. Sırtın sakız ses ama. Ver katet kome, pak ne bek, çek ne ke. Mora kumlere, mora kumlere. Bunu ne ke? Dün uspasın. Yeste lan kogun ekatanım mı? Bana mı? Hep tutum yana. David Garlı Kesmir Abdülhaf. Daha vinç her olsun. Yasal zerpes zarma atsadı. Gidem. Vinç az mangalis. Ez var nalin erken ne ilt oğul. Bir iş kız basmam ez. David. David. Lili can, bir iş gibi mesaj basın. Matek. Bara ses bir şiş kareli. Azatin ers mi tek? Tikna kerto. Bats menk boluruz mi asim menk? Lüks kesur menk. Ayo. Tikna istik bats em, hantrel bop duks gav. Ner gats man ays masa bats ek top nel. Անցեք նստեք նայենք։ Ա։ 
առաջին անգամ եք, մի վախեց իր չեմ զավացնի։ Չի պատրով է։ Այսին կա կույս է։ Դե հարկ է ոչ։ Ենթադրով են, որ անցած գիշև ձեր տղայի հետ սրական առավերություն ունեցել։ Բայց էտի կուսություն ու կուսատ հավանդի արկայությամբ է որակավորում � Թողնայի։ Հելի չեն սպացում։ Գորկա։ 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 I hope you could see something mm. and understand what was going on.
Mm -hmm. uh, Knarik, can you can you say again? So it's uh, it's Armenian tradition, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, the, mm -hmm. the but, name, but the uh, film the film was the name okay, but the film was made was uh, made in Georgia with Armenian mm -hmm. director or another okay. way around. Uh, the uh, director, as far as I understand, is Georgian. This uh, this uh, scenario and production is by an Armenian person, so it's like a cooperation. But the story and everything is Armenian. I don't know if the reality is the same in Georgia um, as well, the same or not. Uh, the video, uh, the movie, of course, was a bit um, extreme. Like it's, it was shown in a yeah in a worse way that it is possible just to show, just to focus on this, to highlight the situation. But yeah, um, in most of the cases, they will not take you to the hospital right away and uh, your mother-in-law will not look at your hymen uh, the, just the way it was shown there. Uh, but uh, yeah, there is some uh, religion of hymens, you know, and some women even, okay, many women, in fact, uh, decide to uh, take the surgery later on to recover their hymens just to prove later that they were uh, virgins, um, although they were not. Uh, and also they, they will show this document of, um, they also uh, could fake a document that it was done by medical pur for medical purposes. Uh, if they're not a virgin and they don't want their future husband or partner to know about it. But really there is um, such a sort of religion and uh, the, this uh, problem is big connected with virginity. Um, and the, of course in my group of people in uh, our part of uh, the society of youth, it's getting better. The views are getting better and approach to this, but uh, still the 90% uh, thinks the other way around. But it's it's a must. It's not even talked about. It has to be so. Both men and women. No, no. women. Men. No, no. I, I mean, uh, you think both think the same yeah. way or... No, uh, yeah, both think the same way that, uh, and uh, in, among women, they created this approach that if a man really wants to marry you, if a man really loves you, he will never ever suggest you to have sex before marriage. There is this opinion mm -hmm. uh, in majority of, of women. And uh, in some cases, um, men who are so narrow-minded really want to simply use the woman. They're not looking at her like, a partner like a person that they love but they just want to to use her let us say and uh, leave her afterwards uh, but uh, people don't even think about the cases where people just love each other and they want to be together maybe they don't want to get married they don't plan to get married it is not accepted like not even thought about mm -hmm. okay Nana, is, uh, is, uh, is this a tradition of red apple, like the red apple no. tradition? No, there is not, but we had a case like that, it was worse, like the girl had been in a break in the first night and her mother was her out and publicly put her, physically abused her. But generally, no, we don't have a tradition. Oh. Okay, uh, Nana, you can please unmute because it's very loud in the car. Um, well, um, if I can comment, for me it was extreme, uh, but you could see also the change of the of the woman afterwards. Like I said, at the beginning she was uh, she seems to be happy to to get married, and the other day, um, I mean, this must be very um, uh, how do you say humiliating. This the this, um, this, this situation, and I would hate my mother-in-law, definitely, and um, yeah. Okay, do you want to comment? Chitak, how, how did yeah. you find it? Yeah, uh, I want to say that it's exactly the same here, even uh, the wedding type is exactly the same with here, but uh, here I don't think people use red apples. Uh, they just approve it with uh, another way. I don't know exactly what. Uh, um, 
unfortunately in my uh, generation to people uh, i mean uh, still people care about virginity uh, and i would say that just five or ten percent of people uh, are open-minded and they can accept you the way you are um i mean on this movie uh, the guy uh, like acting like uh, he loves this girl but uh, after one day um when uh, i mean she when uh, his mother uh, says something to him uh, i just thought that he his love um isn't real because how can uh, love go away with um learning that she is not virgin i mean yeah i just can't understand this and this is the problem with the narrow minded society where things like this decide everything and i just remembered that i also i had a case where i had i used to have a very narrow minded uh, boyfriend uh, uh when my views were also not so open like three years ago some three years ago and um we uh, we didn't have uh, sexual relations but uh we were together for quite a long time and uh, when i wanted to break up with him he he had he said that who is gonna accept you like this who are you gonna marry to like this like no one will want to be with you uh, after they learned that we have been together for such a long time or we made out or something like this and uh i'm very happy that i did not let this manipulation work on me uh back in years uh but um of course by the people who have the same way of thinking probably that would be a problem and it still will mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but honestly here it's okay to have many boyfriends mm -hmm. yeah no one um make a problem about it but to stay virgin <laughs> but in the same yeah. time in the yeah same i can time, understand <laughs> <laughs> uh, why not in afghanistan you can have few uh, women yeah or girlfriends yeah, yeah. i experienced it as well but i never heard about having few boyfriends in the same time it's a real justice i think it's a real justice <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I, I, if I can comment, because you are uh, using the word narrow-minded, um, I would be, Sorry. like for us, if we judge, yes, from this European, let's say, 21st century point of view, we, it's easy to say narrow-minded, but I think that it, it's the, the whole patriarchy system, that just the structure, some certain behaviors of women, some certain expectations to women, because in the system, especially in the, mo the most traditional uh, versions of it, uh, the women is a good. It's, a, it's not an item. It's not the subject, mm -hmm. it's an object. So this object must have certain color, certain, you know, structure, certain ta 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 because it's like changeable, like it, it's exchange, yes? Uh, it's, and it's very much based on economical assumptions, yes, that women are just the goods that is exchanged in the society by, by families, by certain... And it's, it, then if we understand that this, this assumptions, this word narrow-minded is it's just a total different system. If you go to the moon, yes, and probably things would be organized differently there. <laughs> Of course, it doesn't go with, with uh, contemporary values like freedom, equal opportunities, and you know, respect and uh, things like this that, that are the base of our culture. But uh, it's just an, a totally different system, and it's not even the men that are should be blamed of it because this is the system that put the men over the women, and women is just a good as an exchange, yeah, ob object of exchange. And, and that's it, you know. So uh, Andre is he's here, is he's listening? But uh, I sometimes, very often, men are um, when they hear that it's, they can hear that it's against them. That it's like women blame them. Yeah, it's it's just not about blaming men. It's about the system that is totally like for for me it's fucked up. I, I'm sorry for these words, but uh, it's just based on total inequality. Yes, but uh, but girls were also saying it's not only about men. Then 
if 90% accepts uh, of, of yeah. the society accepts the situations, oh, yeah. then yeah, yeah, yeah. there are certain situations that we were talking about. It's yeah. not only about men yeah, yeah. to be blamed. It's uh, it's in total. And I was that was my question. Um, what uh, so system? I mean the 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 rulers. Uh, and what else um, influences it in your in cases of your countries? Uh, how um, what's the role of the religion? How do you see the the role of the religion? Because I guess it's also what you've heard what I've heard from Chitak and Snana, uh, for example, differs. Uh, and I at least I see there a big impact on the on the religion. How do you how do you consider it? Yeah, I think it it is mostly. Mm -hmm. the influence of uh, the religion and um, religious values though it is uh, once again easily manipulated because the same person who talks about religious uh, values um, like Christian values let us say for not letting women have sex with more than one man uh, can uh, beat a woman or beat his child and it, it will be considered to be normal so it's just another uh, you know, a trick for man manipulating using the religion for these purposes, for, for the purposes of the patriarchy, let's say. Uh, but yeah, it does have influence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here too. Uh, in my country, the most of people are Muslim, even if I'm not, and I don't know uh, religion uh, closely. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's related to uh, to the religion in a point. Uh, even if uh, people don't care uh, about religion, because um, country or religion is mostly uh, Muslim, uh, Islam. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to call it. Uh, yeah, uh, when uh, it's about uh, men, uh, they don't care about religion. But when it's about women, yeah. Uh, men can do uh, experience any sexual uh, sexual um, relationships, but women. No. I... Yeah, the best rules. Yeah, mm -hmm. just. I guess the the rules in the in religions they ex they are ex good excuses for for some mm -hmm. some situations and they are used in that way. Um, yeah. But it changes. Like um, Knarik, you are from a Christian country, and uh, and Poland Poland is also Catholic, but. Uh, but it happens that woman gets married uh, in the church when she's pregnant. Of course, she has to kind of hide a little bit, but um, and it's not uh, officially accepted by priests by mm -hmm. church. But uh, but they will do uh, yeah. give marriage. Yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. It happens. Mm -hmm. um, in Czech, you don't even have to cover. Sorry. Sorry. Andre? In Czech, you don't have to cover it. In, but you don't take Czech, marriages. Uh, you don't go to to church uh, to get married, right? No, you, you, you go to church, of yeah. course. Uh, yeah, but mostly, it's most of the uh, most like I, what I know. So you correct me, but I uh, what I know it's ninety percent of of people are are atheists in in Czech Republic. Uh, yeah, I think uh, ninety percent might be true. But even what I know, because I'm, I'm religious, so I'm, I'm from the Catholic uh, surrounding, and I, I know that there, there are some weddings, like with the with the baby on the way. It's mm -hmm. it's normal. Mm -hmm. okay. It's really bad now. I didn't know that Czech Republic is mainly atheist. Wow. Yeah, I think I think so. There is a mission I, I, of Polish priests who go to Czech Republic to make them uh, Christians again. <laughs> well, there were some well, stories I, about. <laughs> I, I don't know because uh, where, where I go, when I went to, to Spain, for example, or yeah, but Poland is different, but in Spain, I haven't seen many people in the church. And I think uh, it's uh, the, the statistics are, are very misleading in this. 
because yeah, yeah it uh, you can be Christian and have no no practice and yeah I think in Czech we the people are more honest just mm -hmm. yeah yeah here it's countries. yes um can I ask more questions or do you also have some no please no, uh, I wanted to ask T. Chuck, the, um, you said about the, um, in your presentation, you were saying about the financial violence that women don't work. And uh, if you can explain it more, is it because of, um, like it's not so uh, accepted in the society or because there is not, they are not allowed to work like from the, from the system, so from the, from the law, what's the, and what does it mean that most of the people, what's the, if you could put in the kind of percentage, how many uh, women work and don't work? Uh, actually, um, actually, uh, it's hard to give any statistics because uh, there is no, uh, no any information about that. But uh, I live in the capital uh, here, uh, my generations and my mother's generations, they can work, uh, they are free to do it, but I just uh, talked about totally Azerbaijan. Uh, here, uh, men don't want to, don't want their wife to work because they don't want to, they don't want a woman to be dominant in the family. They think that by the way, women can uh, protect their rights, they can, um, explain uh, or express their op opinion openly. So they just uh, kind of um, uh, limit their um, their freedom. It's just because of this. Mm -hmm. So it's um, that men, husbands, they don't allow them to, to yeah. work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And women uh, are just okay with that. They, they can say that uh, yeah, my husband uh, does not love me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah uh, actually, about this point, I also wanted to say something. Here, um, I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. I lost it. Okay, uh, the thing that we, I hear it a lot, like, what if you marry a person and then you find out that he does not let you work? Or at least I will marry a person who will let, let me work. You know, it is in the in the, the discourse is about letting you do something. Mm -hmm. Here, my inner feminist wakes up every time, uh, and um, I start a discussion about it, and a bit of a fight with the person who says it, because um, even though like the woman uh, has the right to work and something, she is still waiting for the consent mm -hmm. for the man to let her do it. What if he doesn't let me? What if he doesn't accept me? What if blah blah blah? Uh, so I, I hear it a lot and also uh, it is from parents as well my friend for example uh, she is my age and um, she doesn't work she's studying at university and she doesn't work because her, her father does not let her work he's like um, the approach is like this that um, can can't we support you well enough for you to work like even though she wants to work herself, uh, her parents do not allow her, like put this pressure on her that working is bad, uh, especially if you're a girl. If you're a man, it's okay, it's a good thing. Uh, but there is this thing as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the rest. Yeah, yeah of course, this uh, already this, uh, this, um, um, already this, uh, um, I don't know, this thought or this uh, asking or thinking in the way about having allowance to, to work or not from the husband, it puts you in the, in the position of um, the, uh, lower than, than him and, uh, and choosing the man who will let you work is um, absurd. Okay. Okay, thank you uh, all for all the opinions. Does, is there any, anything that you wanted to say, uh, to ask, but you didn't manage to? Um, I, I would comment it that I'm quite shocked that I, I didn't know, okay? I, uh, I mean, of course, I know that we come from a different part and, uh, and that we, 
um, that there are big differences uh and uh, but i didn't know i i'm shocked by the especially what she said about the rape and um and and uh, the permission to kill a woman uh by family uh mm -hmm. it's uh, i didn't know that it's in azerbaijan i thought it's more in the in, in other countries and is it uh, is it like written in the law this uh, this um, permission to kill a woman uh, by family or by husband? Is it you know is it in the like from the state written somewhere? Chita, can you please repeat again? Yeah, if it's um, if it's legal, if it's legalized, the uh, the permission to kill a woman if she. Uh, if she loses loses the virginity by by uh, by family, as you said. No, no, it's it isn't legal. Just uh, mm -hmm. people do it, and yeah, they um, they get innocent, but they uh, do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's something like if uh, a father uh, doesn't do it, he thinks that he just uh, lost his honor. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why. Mm -hmm. And it happens. Like it's, yeah. it's present. Yeah, yeah. I'm shocked. I, I really didn't. Uh, didn't, didn't know. In Turkey as well, in many, many countries, it's called honor murders. Yeah, yeah, of course, I know honor murders, but I didn't know it particularly in Azerbaijan that, it's, uh, that that's the case of, of Azerbaijan. Actually, in Turkey, it's, um, it is worse because they're. Uh, many women uh, just got, uh, get killed because of uh, that kind of things. And many women just uh, get raped uh, in Turkey because we are too close and every day we uh, hear news about women uh, that uh, got raped and got killed. Yeah. Okay, um, Monica, you 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 came later. Should we tell you what was happening briefly? Um, I just want to add uh, this this um, because we, we have another context. Yes, in Poland, but uh, in Afghanistan, when I was working, so there was a, the the one one girl was murdered. She was stoned to death because she was wearing um, jeans. You know, she was just wearing what she wanted on the street. And uh, the muezzin, the, the, the religious, yes, um, the, 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 the boss, yes, the, the priest in Islam, in this district, he, um, he agreed because people were, claim, uh, were, were um, complaining, men were complaining that she's doing what she wants because she's wearing uh, loose outfits on the, on the street and not always burka. And uh, it was very, very loud and, and uh, widespread case. And she was just stoned to death by the people. But the religious boss agreed to do it. And uh, of course, it's not written in the law. But uh, as Chichak said, uh, this is a custom to, 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 to protect to the, the so-called the honor. Yes? So this, this notion of the honor is very, very dangerous for, for women. Because it justifies actually everything. It can justify the, the you know, um, homicide, the, 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 the murders. And um, what I want to say, as well as the notion of the, the safety now in Afghanistan, because under this um, pretext of uh, or circumstances of um, ensuring the safety to women, People prevent them from going out, prevent them going to the trainings, prevent them from using the public space because it's not safe. So these are very tricky words and notions. This honor, safety, that, that it's like, like for me, it's totally like manipulation and misunderstanding of the words, yes. Mm, it's like now we have in Poland freedom from LGBT. <laughs> this is as well. You've heard about it totally like distortion of the notion of freedom. Um, yeah, and in, in my opinion, this kind of manipulations uh, in the language, in the ideas, in the notions are very, very uh, dangerous for people. 
because it, it can justify everything. Hmm? That, that's all I want to say. Thank you.